Hello everybody and welcome back to Bee Pharma Wise. Today we are going to discuss a very important concept of organic chemistry and it is hybridization. Now what is hybridization? How hybridization happens? Why it happens? And how molecules use this uh, concept or hybridization to form different molecules? Everything we are going to cover in this lecture. So uh, this video will be more focused uh, about sp3 hybridization and i will post sp2 and sp in the separate videos so do check out all three videos so that you get you know uh, comprehensive understanding of hybridization so let's start discussing why it happens so i want you to uh, take towards carbon because we are going to start the discussion with carbon so what is the electronic configuration of carbon we know that carbon has six electrons in its uh, in its atom so these six electrons are arranged like 1s2 2s2 and then 2p2 so if i write it like this then this is the electronic configuration of carbon 1s2 2s2 and in 2p 2px 2py 2pz there are two so one two so as you can see in the p shell only one vacant orbital you can see it is 2pz it is 2px 2py they are half filled and 2pz is empty vacant orbital is there now uh, as we have discussed in the last video where we discussed about the formation of a chemical bond we said that half filled valency orbitals they participate in bond formation if you have not checked that video i will link it in the description box please consider watching that video that will clear all your concept about bond formation so here uh, as we know that the half filled orbitals participate in bond formation so if carbon has to form a chemical bond then who is the possible candidate for forming a bond this 2px and 2py they will participate in bond formation now only two half filled orbitals are there so only two bonds can be formed so if we talk about carbon forming bonds with hydrogen the basic element or the basic molecule of carbon must be ch2 but in reality ch2 is not the uh, molecule of carbon which we see but it is ch4 how if the configuration of carbon is this then how it forms ch4 so to answer this question a um, theory was put forth and they said that this is the outermost shell of carbon the second shell is the outermost shell and as you can see there are two electrons in 2s orbital so one of the electrons from 2s is promoted to the empty 2pz orbital and then it leads to formation of something like this 2s1 and 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 so this is how we end up having an excited state configuration for carbon where one of the electrons from 2s is promoted to empty 2pz to give you four unpaired electrons or four half filled orbitals now these four half filled orbitals can form four bonds and you can have methane molecule in place but the problem still exists if we talk about ch4 molecule it means carbon this carbon has formed four bonds with hydrogens and hydrogen is 1s1 and it is spherical like this so what will be the you know bond parameters for first bond it will be 2s and 1s of hydrogen i will write here 2s of carbon and 1s of hydrogen hmm? and for other three bonds it is 2px of carbon and 1s of hydrogen 2py of carbon and 1s of hydrogen and 2pz of carbon and 1s of hydrogen you know s s they will have spherical shapes p will have dumbbell shape and s will have spherical shape you know that all p orbitals are at uh, 90 degree angle to each other so these three bonds must be perpendicular to each other and this will have 
this won't have any of the directional characteristics because it is comprising of two spherical shaped orbitals so this leads us to believe that all four bonds in methane have different shapes different geometries different bond parameters but in reality when we study the methane molecule then we realize that all four bonds of uh, you know methane they bonds are equal they are equal in shape they are, are equal in bond lengths they are equal in energies everything is equal how it is possible so to answer this again one concept was introduced that in this excited state carbon do not immediately form molecules but it undergoes a process called as hybridization where the required number of atomic orbitals are mixed together and then they are recasted to form new equal number of equivalent orbitals which are referred as hybrid orbitals so now carbon in excited state if it wants to form four equal bonds what it will do is it will take these four atomic orbitals 1s and 3p it will mix them together like we um, uh, mix one gallon of red paint with three gallons of white paint and we are mixing it together and we are then putting it in four equal containers and the uh, means the color of the final output will be pink obviously because you are mixing red with white similarly we are taking 1s orbital and 3p orbitals we are mixing it together and from that dough imagine we are forming four equal energy equal shape equivalent orbitals which we call as hybrid orbitals so what we will do we will mix all these together and we will form four equal energy orbitals which will be having equal shape and which will have these four unpaired electrons and as we have combined 1s with 3p orbitals we will call them sp3 hybrid orbitals okay now how about the geometry or orientation now imagine all four of them will have one single electron in them and all electrons in these orbitals they will repel each other if we bring them close to one another so they will try to gain a geometry in which they will stay as far away as possible to eliminate the repulsive interactions so what can be the probable arrangement then it is a regular tetrahedron one two three four like this a tripod below and one lobe above like this okay the bond angle of this regular tetrahedron is 109.5 degrees hmm? or 109 degrees 23 minutes to be more specific but 109.5 will work now all four hybrid orbital what is the shape of each hybrid orbital the shape is like this it will have one big lobe and very small lobe uh what will be the character of sp3 hybrid orbitals there are four na in total there are four out of which only one is s3 rp so it will have 25% s character and 75% p character this is the shape of each hybrid orbital but i have not shown the small lobes here because they are so small that they do not extend far away from the nucleus and so they don't participate in bond formation so generally it is not shown just the bigger lobe is shown and it is easier also so this is how the carbon undergoes sp3 hybridization to form four equal energy uh, equal shape hybrid orbitals now let's discuss ki how using sp3 hybrid orbitals carbon form molecules so let's uh, discuss the orbital diagram for methane first place let's uh, start the discussion from methane and let's move then towards ethane and all so if we are talking about methane we know the formula is ch4 now uh, you have to remember a few things first thing very important if you see a molecule of carbon and carbon is attached or bonded to four other carbon atoms like in methane four other hydrogen atoms right so in that case carbon always use sp3 hybridization for itself to form bonds so if carbon forms 
sp3 hybridization then what is going to be the geometry of that carbon atom the carbon will be having tetrahedral geometry like this 1 2 3 4 tetrahedral geometry for this carbon now there are four hydrogens so each hydrogen will have one unpaired electron this each sp3 hybrid orbital will have one unpaired electron so both of them will axially overlap to form something like this right a sigma bond sp3 of this carbon and 1s of this hydrogen so what will be the bond character for this bond sp3 s similarly all four bonds are formed and they are equivalent in shape and everything bond angle and everything so the bond angle here will be 109.5 degrees right so this is how methane is formed now let's discuss about ethane now what is the structure of ethane it is ch3 ch3 like this now here you can see carbon has attached with four other atoms three hydrogens and one carbon three hydrogens and one carbon so when carbon is forming four bonds with four other atoms it is in sp3 hybrid orbitals so this carbon i will draw like this 1 2 3 4 Hmm? and this carbon again i will draw like this 1 2 3 4 so i have drawn two carbons in sp3 hybridized state now as you can see already i have shown you one axial overlap of this sp3 of carbon 1 and this sp3 of carbon 2 so the bond this bond particular bond has the bond character of sp3 sp3 now what will be the bond character for this obviously this is sp3 of carbon and it will overlap with 1s of hydrogen similarly like this like this like this this and this so for all these six bonds the character will be sp3 s and for the middle bond it will be sp3 sp3 and the bond angle will be 109.5 degrees so it will be a regular tetrahedral arrangement for methane ethane or whenever your carbon forms four bonds with four other atoms or group of atoms so this is about sp3 hybridization i will take a moment and i will just brush it up first thing you need to understand is carbon never forms or may not form bonds in its ground state because in ground state carbon can only form two bonds and carbon generally form four bonds uh, in its stable compounds like methane so why we have discussed i have already uploaded a video where i have discussed about how and when of hybridization or why and how of hybridization something i will link that video in the description you please check it out there i have discussed this initial discussion in depth but what is the basis of this discussion carbon is not going to form bond in ground state so it goes to excited state by promoting 2s electron to empty 2pz now what do you think 2s is at a lower energy level 2pz is at higher energy level so it will require some energy so who is going to provide this energy carbon will use its internal energy or it may use the energy in the form of heat or light to promote that 2s electron to 2pz but in turn it will gain more benefits right so uh, after excited state carbon will mix all the atomic orbitals together and it will recast them into equivalent energy orbitals which are called as hybrid orbitals and then he will use those hybrid orbitals for forming bonds in sp3 hybridized state Now let's discuss about sp2 and sp in the upcoming video so stay tuned and please subscribe if you haven't yet i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye